we have uh, another PF sense router. This one I haven't shown before, but uh, if you're looking for something a, a little bit uh, faster than your usual PF sense routers that I've shown, this this would be uh, one to take a look at. Um, so I've opened this before, so it's not a true unboxing, but uh, and I've already taken it apart too, so it's uh, it's uh, fairly easy. So I'm just gonna open it up. So it comes with these. Uh, Instructions, password information. Um, put that aside for now. So here's the package. So it comes with your standard power brick. Let's put this one right side up this time. Here you go. And uh, the good thing about this is it has this uh, security uh, screw here. So you can, uh, when you plug in the back here, it doesn't easily come off. So it's fairly tight once you get it in there so it's good for uh, if you're going to mount it you won't have to worry about which which way you're going to mount it so that the power cord won't fall off uh, the only bad thing about this setup is that they've actually put the power button right beside the cord so when you're actually trying to plug it in there's a good chance you're going to accidentally power it on by mistake so that's what I did a few times um, This unit also comes with uh, a console cable, so you can hook this up to a, a serial port. Not many computers have serial ports these days, but you can hook it up and uh, actually see what's happening without the uh, web interface. So there's an actual console port here, and it goes right in there. So you hear it click, so it's not a network cable, it's a serial console cable. Right? So this is also a fanless unit. This is a giant heat sink. Uh, when I take it apart, you'll see uh, it comes with two USB ports. All these six six uh, ports are gigabit Intel Ethernet. Uh, you could also get this in, I think, four port version. This is marketed under FW2700, but that's actually not the uh, the real model number. I believe this is a, a Lanner Electronics uh, router uh, network appliance that's been rebranded. But I think the true model number here for this specific unit is the um, FW7525. So I'm just going to take it apart now so we could uh, take a look at how it looks inside. So that's... So the back actually is where the uh, power button is, and I believe this is the uh, reset button here. It might be a little difficult to see, but there it is right there. So let's start with the uh, screw on the bottom here. And on each side, there's three screws, one there, one there, and one there. So the uh, magnetic tip uh, works today on the uh, previous Zotac unit I uh, unscrewed. It wasn't, the magnetic tip wasn't catching. Or it could have been the screws, maybe they're not, they weren't fully uh, metal. and didn't catch as good but these ones seem to work okay
So here's the case, the top portion. And this is how it looks inside. So this is the memory. This one comes with two gigs, but I believe you can get these units with up to eight gigs of memory. Um, here's the compact flash. It's one gig here. Uh, this unscrews to remove it. There's a, a SATA interface, and it looks like a five volt power source. And this looks like um, M-SATA interface that you could install uh, either an MSATA or a PCI, mini PCI interface. I'll have to check the specs, but um, that's it. Uh, these ports, I, again, they're Intel 1 gigabit Ethernet ports. So they're, they're much better than the uh, real tech stuff that you find in some of the other units. And uh, there's three LED indicators here and the console port. And back here again, this is where the... Um, the reset button is so you can see it a little better there so the uh, so you can see the motherboard and the CPU is on the other side actually so it, this part acts like a giant heatsink that's why there's no fans here this is passive cooling so it does get really hot this gets hot like an iron hotter than anything else I've, I've used before so if you're gonna be placing this make sure that you you place it somewhere where it's well ventilated because it, it will warm up and uh, that's it for the uh, Liner Electronics PF Sense router so if you're interested in uh, installing PF Sense on, on this hardware it will work it recognizes all six uh, ports and so far it's worked fine for the purposes I have used it